going to pull out the gauge now. The very first gauge we're going to pull out is the, the fuel tank and the oil. And if you pull it out, this is more for my records of um, where the wires are going to go. Um, you can see that there's on the top there, there's actually a little G next to the gauge there. It's a green with the white dots. And then we have these two wires next to that one, um, which is the uh, red with the black stripe and the solid red. Then we have that T and we have the two brown ground wires. And then from there is actually the light bulb. Next to the light bulb, we have this one, which is the green, green wire. And then right after that, again, we're back to the same one on there. So that's uh, for the fuel circuit. Now we're going to pull out our temperature and pressure gauge behind there, starting from the top, you'll see that there's actually one wire that's missing. Notice while I was pulling it out that there's this wire, it's pretty corroded, but it was just sort of stuck in that corner. It's not going to anything and I'm assuming it might go to that one that's not attached to anything. Um, there's the light, there's a light bulb right there which I pulled out already which is there so first one starting over we got that the green with a red stripe it's marked with that G and then we have a, a plus right there which is the black red with a black stripe actually two red with a black stripe and then we have the light bulb that goes to there you can see that it goes over there then we also have the blue wire that goes to the light bulb. Then after that, we have, after the light bulb, we have the brown wire that goes there. And then we have another green with a black that's actually marked G right there. And then we're back to the plus again. RPM gauge behind there, the wires, this blue wire that's going to this light, which is actually the left turn signal. We have this uh, green with the, bl with the black, which is the right turn signal, and then this blue, which actually just loops back around to the right turn signal, and the black with the white stripe for the right turn signal. And then after that, we have the light bulb that illuminates the gauge. And then down below, on the right side, that actually probably runs the uh, gauge itself, we have a red with black wire that goes into the first terminal. The second one is actually empty. There's nothing in there. And then we have this black with the light blue dots that goes second in from the left and then we have the brown uh, wire double wire that runs that to remove the speedometer you're going to have to remove the rpm gauge reason being is because you have to get behind the gauge to move to actually remove the speedo cable and um, so right now I'm going to reach behind there and disconnect the speedo cable. You can see the speedo cable, it's just hand tight. So once you untie it, that comes off and then um, and you can pull the speedo gauge. Looking at the back side of it, for our records, you can see that on top we have the brown wire and then we have the typical blue with the black stripe. We have a white with blue dot uh, with green dots and another one of the blue with the uh, 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 black with the blue lines. Okay, so on our speedo, we are going to remove the clear the trip meter. The cable runs inside. You can actually see that it has threads on it that unscrews. But before we do that, 
on the actual knob, which is underneath the dash, there is a little set screw right there. It takes a little screwdriver. We're just going to unloosen that screw, and then this whole knob will pull off, and then we can unscrew the whole thing. So after we loosen that set screw, it actually just drops right down, and you can take, take the set screw off. And the very last that we have is our clock, which pull out. And then once it's pulled out, for the the black with the blue stripe for the light bulb. We got two black wires here, and the uh, our typical brown wire on the bottom. And now we have the completion of the gauge removal.